if you can't actually be happy for a friend who's done something before you for example marriage maybe you both are single one gets married first you are genuinely not happy for that person i'm sorry you are a fake friend you are a hater you are envious you are a frenemy your fake friends are watching you and they can't celebrate you your true friends are those who celebrate you when you succeed that nails it Hi so if you, welcome back to my channel so if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe my existing viewers who have not yet subscribed please do subscribe it only takes a second subscribe down below but let's get straight to the point today's video is are you a friend are you a fake friend i want to know <laughs> because this topic has been like literally on my heart for quite for a few weeks now i would say at church my pastor has been breaking down a lot of things based on friendships relationships and um you know i it's really touched me um i've been thinking about for the last couple of weeks probably months now before i entered 2019 and it's something i've also actually thought about for probably a few years now actually um because it's a really important topic and you know I think it's really important that we know who our friends are you know whether they are friends or they are fake friends a friend is a bond of mutual affection one without sexual and family relations so is a friend has your back someone who is a true friend stands up for you someone who is a friend stands up for you stands, stands up, up for, for you. you meaning if anybody is discussing you behind your back you know or you know gossiping negatively against you and your friend that you call a friend is around that sort of setting and is hearing these things they stand up for you they have your back they say no my friend ain't like that if your friend doesn't have your back if your friend is not standing up for you obviously you might not know i'm going to touch on some things that will help you to identify who is your friend and who is a fake friend so obviously i'm just i've started off with friends so these are the things that will get you guys thinking start thinking wait a second are my friends like this the friends that i have around me can they do this do they have do we have a mutual affection is it the two of us that show each other love it can't be one-sided one person always chasing that other friend checking on them all the time calling them you know and the other person not doing so that's not a friendship because friendship like i said already is mutual you know um a friend is someone you are willing to change your opinions with so a friend is obviously someone that you can share your opinions with discuss you know what you think is important to you or what your thoughts are that's someone that you will call a friend um and you look forward to seeing them a friend is someone you look forward to seeing if you see somebody that you call a friend and you time every time you guys have to meet up or you see each other you kind of dread it or you're not excited then i don't think that's a friend really um, and so regardless of your similarities um, um, in interest or traits whether you have similarities or interests that are related you would still love that person so that's what a friend is even if you guys are completely opposite this person likes football and this person likes um what can i think of <laughs> this person likes football this person likes makeup like the way me and my husband are we're friends you know i'm going to give that as an example he's he loves football regardless we are friends i love him for his interest and he loves me for my interest so you know i mean these are five qualities of a good friend honesty good friend has to be honest you should be able to take their word for it if they say they're going to do something they should be able to do it they should be honest they shouldn't be someone that constantly lies for me that is not a good um trait of a good friend it's not a good character of me wanting to befriend someone that is not honest number two accepting so somebody that accepts you for who you are like i said earlier you know you may not have similar interests you may be complete opposites but they are willing to embrace you for who you are number three um they are loyal a good friend is loyal a bit about what i touched on about having your back a good friend has your back they stand up for you those are characteristics of loyalty someone that would not have anybody trash you behind your back they would not have anybody tell you that you know speak negative things about you they are going to you know stand up for you and because they are loyal because they you know they're not holding on to emotions of oh that person offended me therefore i'm going to speak negatively of that person they are not going to do that they're going to remain loyal just like football fans you know regardless of them winning a game losing a game 
I mean, I think about my husband in this situation because no matter what happens with his the football team he supports, he's always going to remain loyal. He's been a he's been a loyal fan for many many years, regardless of their winnings. So it's the same with friendship. No matter what happens, a friend is loyal. Friends should be respectful. They should respect your wishes, your desires, and vice versa. Respect is always, in my opinion, reciprocal. It's not a situation where you are the one. Um, um, that is expecting respect and you're not giving it out regardless of age like with friendship it doesn't matter about the age that you are you can have friends with people that are way older than you way younger than you but there should be mutual respect between one another you know you should respect their needs and their things that they don't like they do like you know that should be there if that person's offended and you know you they made they voiced it out it's important to you know acknowledge that and respectfully do the right thing so um, and the last one one, number five is trustworthy can can you trust them to be in a setting they won't discuss you negatively whatever the case is no matter what you know can they be trusted now now you've heard a few of the qualities of a good friend which I'm sure there's so much more and even some that I've not touched on and I wouldn't want to go into too much detail are you a friend are you a good friend I'm asking you yes you are you a good friend um, and actually checking whether you yourself are friendly but the key thing is you need to know the kind of people you want around you so out of the things I've just discussed already you need to figure out whether these people around you have certain qualities I mean nobody is perfect that's one thing you've got to acknowledge nobody's gonna have everything but they should have certain traits to qualify them of being a good friend are you yourself a good friend you might be thinking you don't have any good friends around you but do you actually have good qualities of a good friend that anybody even wants around themselves so if you're not a good friend how do you expect to attract good people I think a lot of people masquerade themselves as good friends and they're actually fake friends and I think it's so so important to know who these people are so Oh, sorry my phone so for fake friends how can you tell who are fake friends who are the fake friends that are in your life that you need to cut them off seriously I love social media social media is great for sifting out your enemies frenemies fake friends there's this post I'm gonna just put up right now I absolutely love that post oh my gosh that post is so key like you know i just love the caption you know the person literally the loser looking person someone that looks like you know a stalker hiding behind a tree literally watching you your fake friends are watching you and they can't celebrate you those are the kind of people you need to realize are not your friends they see you going forward they see you good celebrating good things and they're not interested in sharing in that joy that's a fake friend so they disguise behind social media act as if they're invisible won't comment on your pictures consistently i'm not saying that you should be a fanatic in terms of always having the time to you know message a friend or send a post or write a comment down personally i'm not good at that myself but there are people that literally watch everything you're doing literally watch you somehow envy you and won't say anything like to me those are fake friends uh, a fake friend constantly disappoints you they will tell you i'll do this for you i'll do that for you and it's not once it's not twice it's not three times it's so much more often that they tend to not do what they say they lack integrity pay, pay attention to particular people that are always about me 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 always going on about me Oh, I'm this, I'm that, I can do this, I can do that, I am able to, you know, those sort of people that is just always on about themselves, you know, they don't really care about you, they don't really like to show much love, it's always about them. Carefully watch these sort of people, they tend to be haters, they tend to be frenemies they tend to be fake friends if it's all about them how can they be a good friend like, like i said following on with that look out for uncaring traits they don't go out of their way to do things to show that they care so don't get me wrong there are some friends that are fake that will go out of their way to show you too much care if it's a bit too good to be true i don't really know this person and they're doing this x y and z for me why what do they have to gain 
check it out be careful because if there's something fishy about that friendship where that person just seems a bit too forward they're kind of a bit eggs up about being your friend they're kind of doing certain things that kind of seem like they're trying to buy your love it's so important to be wise it's so important to be discerning watch out for how these people support you you know do they support your goals do they support your ambitions do they support your dreams a fake friend does not you can say you're going to do this that and the other that is going to improve your life and a fake friend will just be like trying to discourage you or a fake friend will just be you know someone that's not really happy for you to progress and they would not really have anything really great to say because you can identify by fake friends is can they um accept constructive criticism or do they give constructive criticism this is so important for me because i think that it's so important for friends to be very honest with themselves which is one of the things i mentioned about a good friend they give constructive criticism sometimes people don't like to accept constructive criticism we're living in a world today where people want to be deceived and that's why you probably have so many fake friends around you because you don't want to hear the truth or you despise the truth a true friend will tell you certain things about yourself that is only going to help you improve your life give constructive criticism if a friend cannot give you constructive criticism and vice versa you cannot give your friend constructive criticism then there are some traits of you being a fake friend i'm sorry because that's the only way you can help each other like it says in the bible iron sharpeneth iron therefore with a friend they have to rub off on each other one has to be on fire the other one has to be on fire so then giving each other constructive criticism is key for me i love constructive criticism and this is a way i identify a lot of people that are not my friend because i realize that they don't like to tell me some things that are some, some of my weaknesses they pretend they won't tell me or they just act as if everything is all gravy with me you're not a friend you need to tell me things that i'm doing that is not right and i'm ready to embrace that fake friend as well another way to kind of identify a fake friend they can't forgive they struggle to forgive if you have a friend who you've offended or vice versa you've offended them they've offended you and you can't forgive that person you're not a true friend you're a fake friend i'm sorry you'll find that when the person can't forgive a mistake can cost you that friendship really really think about it you know check out the friends that are in your circle there was a post i recently read which was so um, funny basically if your circle of friends are not pushing you encouraging you you know motivating you then i'm sorry you're not in a circle you're in a cage <laughs> Some people kind of identify a good friend by when they're down and that's what i used to do i used to be like oh you know thinking the people that were with me when i was down are those that are truly my friends but that's not always the case because a friend can also a fake friend can also befriend you in your low moments and secretly mocking you or happy for the fact that you're not in a good place and show you sort of some sort of support and love so it's not always easy for you to identify a true friend when you're in your low point that means that's when I, what I mean is when you're struggling in one area of your life or you know you're going through hard times everybody goes through we all go through hard times in life and that's why we've probably got loads of testimonies because through our testimonies we've been tested and those tests have been the times where you're in your low point that's what i'm trying to say so it's not always easy for you to identify a fake friend in those tests because like i said they could be there just to kind of like watch you go downhill that's sometimes not always the best way don't get me wrong it is a good way to identify friendships because most of the times you'll find that when you're in your testing moment when you're in your low period you'll find there's not many people around you a lot of your friends that you thought were friends will somehow disappear and you'll find you don't actually have many friends at that moment and then you kind of want to think okay therefore those other ones that are not supporting me are not my true friends that's one thing but not necessarily the case um, and quite often not always the case those friends that were even not the friends that you didn't see could just be finding it difficult themselves they're probably having a struggle they're going through struggles themselves so they don't know how to support you in your struggle so that's not always a way for you to identify um, and like i said they could be the ones that are around you could just be like yeah let us see we want to see where this one is going because deep down they want to see you fail you know a fake friend in the key moments of your life times where you're celebrating um times where you're celebrating for example your wedding day day that you have your baby or graduation you get a good job 
those are key moments those are key moments for you that you think oh my gosh those are the times where you're happy you're celebrating because there's no way no matter what you're going through in life you have your birthday you're happy i don't know who isn't really really happy on their birthday <laughs> do you know what i mean you're happy on your birthday you're happy on your anniversaries you're happy um when you have a child when you get married you know all these sort of milestones are times where if your friend can't celebrate you at that time and that could be via social media you don't have to see that person you know if they can't give you a phone call or check on you or there is a quote by Joel Austin I actually absolutely love this um, quote you can tell who your true friends are it's not those who show up when you fail so this kind of sums up exactly what I said it's not those who show up when you fail your true friends are those who celebrate you when you succeed that nails it so you know if you can't actually be happy for a friend who's done something before you for example marriage maybe you both are single one gets married first you are genuinely not happy for that person i'm sorry you are a fake friend you are a hater you are envious you are a frenemy because why are you not happy for that person why are you worried your own time is coming bible in first corinthians 15 33 is really important for you to understand why it's so important to know who is in your circle who is in your life as a friend and who is not your friend it's do not be deceived this is first corinthians 15 33 do not be deceived evil communication corrupts good manners or evil company corrupts good manners so the bottom line is if you have evil friends if you have bad people fake friends in your life it's going to affect you the last few points i'd like to um touch upon so like i said you need to identify and discern this is the only thing that the only thing that can get give you this is the holy spirit jesus can only give you this power to identify and discern from those that are masquerading as fans get rid of your fake friends cut them off like you want to move forward this is 2019 i'm not saying you should not have any friends i think it's so key to have friends because you do need people in your life and there's different categories of friends as well which is another thing that i don't have the time to really touch on to guard your heart with all diligence because out of it springs the issues of life and, and like i can see my video has gone so far and i mean i don't have the time to really go into much more detail but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if there's anything else you guys would like me to discuss on this topic suggestion box comment box pop them down there let me know if you guys like this type of videos because for me i just kind of like to give you guys videos that are really dear to me that kind of like rub me off the way a way that i think oh my gosh i need to just put this out there because i mean i think there's something that so many people are struggling with so many people are experiencing these sort of feelings with certain friends in their life but they kind of like don't know what to do about it they kind of like are holding on to these fake friends because of the number of years they've been in their lives and you know they just don't even want to offend themselves you know but I mean we're in 2019 we're here to move forward we're here to progress feel that this is the reason why God put me on this platform actually inspired me to start my YouTube channel and so he drops these ideas in my heart and I just run with them once I get it the only thing is struggling to find time to give these videos to you thank you guys so much for watching I really really appreciate it if you guys like my video give me a thumbs up um, and I hope to see you guys in my next video